this is a, a gutter, side of the wall, side of the roof, edge of the roof, uh, detail deck uh, example. <clears throat> you can walk around and see into what would be the attic, and there's some of this excelsior wood, wood wool stapled at different points. If you walk around it, you can see that um, uh, there is roof edge flashing on the outer edges and not in the center. You can ignite the debris and the gutter, the metal gutter. Um, so once, once it's ignited, the, the interesting place to be is more where you can see the inside here. And then after this, this is step one, we're going to do this, and then I'm going to um, ignite this B brand and set it right next to this uh, down here, but on the on the on my side of this uh, fence. This is a redwood lattice fence um, with some makeup uh, debris, and we're going to see whether or not the fire will walk to this wood siding, climb the wall, and enter into this uh, fiber cement soffit material that has holes punched in it for venting. So when you do this one, then A, does this ignite enough to move? B, does it climb the wall? And C, does it go into the, uh, the, the attic through the vented uh, soft material? Um, and we've tried to do this a number of times, and, and it's hard to get this to ignite in this kind of scenario. Uh, under a wildfire real-life scenario, you have uh, drying winds coming through long before anything ignites. It would be drier, it would be more readily ignitable. Uh, we'll see today whether the stars align or not. Sometimes it comes in, sometimes it doesn't, depending on wind and other issues and the other. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> 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 <laughs>